Hi guys, Boku wa Regidis. Today I would like to introduce to you how to use MQTT in Home Assistant. The reason why I want to use MQTT in Home Assistant is that I have a sensor which doesn't support it by Home Assistant components. I want to use that sensor information based on my presence, non-presence, uh, in the office to control office light. To set up my sensor in Home Assistant, I use this minimal setup line in Home Assistant configuration YAML under sensor session because I want to make my sensor to be MQTT sensor so the platform should be MQTT. Then I name my sensor to be presence detection. You need to program MQTT topic. Uh, I name it uh, to be presence office. When presence, sensor output 1, light will turn on. Non-presence, sensor output 0, light will turn off. After I set up my MQTT sensor, this is how I use it. I name my automation to be office light, active non-presence, initial state to be true, which means that I'm turning on this automation in my Home Assistant front end. As you know, Home Assistant automation consists of three part trigger, condition, and action. Uh, so my trigger, I use platform state because sensor state will changing from one to zero. And uh, my entity, my D, will be sensor presence detection. Sensor is my domain. Presence detection is my sensor's MQTT sensor's name under this domain for one minute. So this line here means that the sensor will keep outputting zero, which makes sure that nobody in the office for one minute at least. And you can set this number to be any number. Because I want to turn the office light off, the condition, the current condition of my office light should be on. So I can turn it off. And the action is very obvious. The home assistant will call switch turn off service and the light will turn off. My another automation file is for presence purpose. What I want to do with this automation is that when the sensor immediately detects my presence, I want the light turning on, which is basically the opposite of non-presence automation. And you can uh, read through this. That's all. Thank you. Hope this video will be helpful. See you next time. Bye.